G'day everyone, it's Scott Allen from The Raw. Bernard Foley and Kirtley Beale have been getting plenty of praise for how they're leading the Waratahs around an attack, and rightly so. But the playmakers can only ignite a team's attack if they've got players providing them options as runners. Today I want to show you how the Tars are using a simple attacking structure for their forwards to get them going forward, create quick ball, and help set up opportunities for those players out wider. The first example came in the first minute of the match against the Highlanders. Beale takes the kick and moves the ball wide on the first phase. On the second phase we can see the first example of the forwards using their structure working off number 10. The players have worked hard to realign. You can see the forwards are in a clear arrowhead shape and out behind them there's a second line in place. I'll pause the footage again at the point Kepu receives the ball so we can have a look at the opportunity the Tars have created in attack. Kepu's got the ball, inside him is Pallotta now and outside him is Robertson in that arrowhead shape. Douglas is inside them again as another supporter. The second line consists of Falau, Potgeeter, Ashley Cooper and Horn, who's not currently in the frame. The Highlanders haven't realigned quickly enough in defence so they're short in numbers. When we look from behind the Tars you can see what a great opportunity they've set up. If Kepu moves the ball out the back to Falau, the second line will have three players running at Buckman. However the pass from Foley is a little too far out in front of Kepu and by the time he hauls it in and tries to readjust to make the pass, the defence is on him and the pass doesn't make it to Falau. Nothing came of the opportunity, but it was a preview of many more such opportunities to come in the match. In the second example, the Tars scrums under pressure, and although they win the ball, it's very scrappy possession. On the second phase, Phipps makes life hard for Beale with a terrible pass, but Beale does well to take the ball to the line, attract defenders, and then give a short ball to Falau, who gets them over the gain line. Another phase to the short side, and now the Tars are ahead of where the original scrum was packed. On the fourth phase, we see the forward structure again. This time it's directly off nine. It's another poor pass at the body, rather than out in front, but Potgeeter has Hoyles inside him and Kepu outside in that definite arrowhead shape. On the fifth phase we see the structure again outside 10, but this time only two forwards in Palu and Pallotta now are in position, so Horn makes up the third player. This time Foley uses the forwards as a decoy and passes wider to Falau. On the next phase the forwards have got their arrowhead shape set again, directly off 9, with the second line behind them also set. On this occasion Kepu does make the pass out the back, but neither his pass nor that of Foley are well executed, which takes away some of the momentum and allows time for the Highlanders to rush up. However on the next phase we see the forward structure again, this time off 10, with Hooper the lead runner, Pallotta now outside him, and again Horn joining in as the second supporter. This time Foley takes the line on himself and comes very close to getting through. Whilst he didn't make a line break, the supporters in that arrowhead structure are then perfectly positioned to receive an offload and it's Horn that carries the ball on. In the next example, Bill does a great job getting the Tars on the front foot and on the second phase we see the forwards immediately into their structure. Although it's not a perfect arrowhead, there's still a definite pot of three forwards outside Foley. This time Foley uses the wider pass to Hooper rather than hitting one of the closer forwards. However, the pass is behind him and again that takes away some of the momentum. In the final example, the Tars use a simple wrap around on the first phase from a lineout, and a good pass from Beale under pressure releases Horn. Because the Tars got over the gain line on the first phase, they're already stretching the Highlanders' defence. The quick, clean ball from the ruck makes it even harder for the defence to get set. On the second phase, we see the forwards in their structure outside Foley, with Palu as the tip of the arrow, Kepu inside him, and Hooper outside. The Highlanders have got four forwards in the general vicinity but the speed of the play hasn't allowed them to get a good defensive line set. When we look at the play from behind the Tars, you can see that there's a fair bit of space between the defenders, and two defenders are going to have to deal with the three Tars forwards running at them in their structure. With those defenders occupied and the forward inside them a little slow in getting across, there's space in front of Foley. As we move back out of the animation, you'll see Foley takes that space and makes a good break. The structure provides running options for the 9 or 10 to pass to a decoy to hold the inside defenders for a wider play, a decoy that can provide space for the playmaker to run at the line themselves, and an option for the forwards in the arrowhead to link with the second line. Quite often the simplest things done well are far from simple and very effective, and that's exactly what we're seeing from the Tars at the moment.